Hi, welcome back to another Gateway Flipped Classroom video. Do you remember the three stories at the start of Unit 2 of your student's book? They were all true stories. For example, the one about the two Italian criminals, Tommaso Bonardi and Vittorio Laudani. They wanted to steal clothes from a shop. They went into the shop in the middle of the night. The police came. The thieves didn't run away, they stood still. They pretended to be part of the shop display. Did the police see them? Not at first, but in the end, one of them moved. And the police arrested them. The two criminals were not happy. It was a disaster for them. These sentences are all in the past simple, the past simple affirmative. They talk about finished actions in the past. Let's look at those sentences again. Three of these are regular verbs. They wanted to steal clothes from a shop. One of them moved. The police arrested them. Regular verbs in the past simple finish in ed. But many verbs have an irregular past form. For example, they went into the shop in the middle of the night. The police came. They stood still. The negative form is similar for regular and irregular verbs. We add didn't before the verb. So we say, the criminals didn't run away. The police didn't see them at first. The plan didn't work. And to make the question form, we put did before the subject. Did the criminals run away? Did the police see them? There's one other important verb that we need to look at in the past simple. That's the verb to be. The past forms are was and were. For example, I'm here in the studio now, but I was at school last week. Look at these sentences. With I, he, she and it, we use was. With you, we and they, we use were. To make the negative form, we add not or n apostrophe t. And to make questions with was and were, we move was or were and put them before the subject. For example, was it a disaster? The crime in the clothes shop was certainly a disaster for the two criminals. Talking about criminals, I've got a terrible joke for you. Do you know which type of thief is the strongest? No? I'll tell you. A shoplifter. Well, you have to be strong to lift a shop. I told you it was bad. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you soon.